Ira Hubbard and his family loved their marine flower too. The 64-foot sailboat was just part of Ira's dream, a dream that included living aboard, sailing around the world, even raising his new baby at sea. As they set sail for Bermuda from Norfolk, Virginia, Ira's dream was about to unfold into a nightmare. We received a mayday call from the Marine Flower 2. They were 300 miles east of the Chesapeake Bay, halfway between the United States and Bermuda, literally in the middle of nowhere. Hurricane Gordon was racing up the coast, and it wasn't prudent for them to turn around and sail back. They were concerned about the weather conditions that they were already facing, which was 20 to 25 foot seas and 40 to 50 knot winds. It was family, and they had a little baby on board, and the storm was heading right toward them. So if we weren't going to go out there and get them, there's nobody else is going to go out there and get him. The father was up for 36 hours. He had his wife who had to take care of a four-month-old baby and a daughter that was only 13, so he, he was doing this all by himself, and he was just physically exhausted. There was nothing physically wrong with the boat, except the master was fatigued, and they were really getting beaten up because of the heavy seas and winds. I'll see the guy's wife in the back, Do you? Uh, yeah, I'll see the wife, and it looks like the 13-year-old girl. And I don't see the baby. Well, she's holding the baby, and it's got a yellow life vest on. You see it? Swimmer has his raft. Okay, uh, ask just, him if he think he can climb on board the back of that. He said probably. Okay, that's the plan, okay? Okay, he's going to climb on board the back? If he can, yeah, to get the baby in his hands, it's a lot safer. The original plan was to get the mother and baby, and he has a little one-man raft he carries with him. He'd swim to the back of the boat, inflate the raft, take the baby, and put, it in, put her in the raft. And as soon as I got in the water, I got like maybe 30 feet, and a wave decided it wanted it more than I did and took it. I lost the life raft. The guy's making too much room on him. The boat's getting on him. You want me to yeah. put the sling back out and hook him back yeah, up? Yeah, let's go get him and bring him closer, okay? I was signaling to pick me up, and uh, a wave had picked me up higher, so he'd ran some of the cable up, and then the wave dropped out. It's a pickup signal. Ooh, bad swell. Oh, man, we just we probably hurt his back. He's in the water again. Prepare to take a load. He's swinging. Prepare to take a load. I'm bringing him up. Okay. Hold. Hold position. I don't... He took two good jerks on the cable. Okay. Hold position. Rescue swimmer's halfway up. Hold position. Rescue swimmer's just a few feet below the aircraft. Okay, now I'm going to bring him up to you and slower now because I got this tank out here to try and bring him around. I don't want to okay. hurt him. And I remember thinking I really didn't want to be there anymore. Um, I remember kind of regretting my decision to be a swimmer. Uh, because it surprised me and surprised Bobby and they thought they hurt me. He pulled me back inside, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. The boat's moving on out. And so that all our plans to get on the boat and get the baby were pretty much gone out the window. So we have to start from scratch now. Probably better just have him jump off. Yeah, I would think jump off. Yeah, then just get Mario near him. Swimmer's away, swimmer's okay. Bringing up rescue device. Okay. He's right there, he's five feet from it. Fine, Mario, swim. Rescue devices. Mario, the swimmer was really swimming hard. He, he was giving his all. He finally threw him the lifeline, and he was able to grab it and pull himself to the back of the boat. So I backed around and tried to grab hold of the ladder. There was a ladder hanging off the side, so I reached for the ladder, and then it disappears. The whole boat, back of the boat, lifts up out of the water. And the prop's right there on my face, out of the water, turning. And that's it. I said, I'm not going to get on the boat now. And there, there's no way to try. It doesn't make sense to try. I'm just going to get hurt, and it'll end the whole thing. And then the mother and the baby came onto the back. He helped them over the back, and there was a little dive platform that they were standing on. Do you think this is safe, or do you think they're better on the boat? I don't know how close How's they, they going to keep that baby alive in the water like that? I don't know. Tell them no. Can you tell them no? And they were ready to jump, and I didn't think she was going to go. They're not looking at me. I'm going on the slash throw side. And then another one of those waves came by and just kind of decided for her and picked her up. And it wasn't real violent, but it picked her up and threw them both off. She's in the water, it's too late She's now. in the water. Okay, She's Laura's going to basket down. Okay, basket is going down. They were tied together with like 10 feet of, of line. They swam over and grabbed the mother after her life vest and then grabbed the baby by its life vest on the front. Mario has the baby. And the mother grabbed my arm and was kind of pulling on my arm this way and on my chest this way. And it was pulling the baby against her chest, but that was underwater. But every time I'd try and pull, she'd get more panicky, like, you're trying to take my baby. She didn't want the baby away from her, but I don't think she could see and realize the baby wasn't, didn't have any air, because it was underwater. 
Back in cable, easy back, hold position. To put the mother in the basket, I'm missing an arm because the baby's in this hand. Hold position, woman is getting in basket. Hold position, stay on slack and cable. She moved around to the other side and climbed in, but then she realized she didn't have her baby anymore. And panic again was, and was reaching off for the baby. And was when she grabbed the baby to pull it in, she was trying to pull the baby through the bales instead of under. Uh, so I had to fight her for the baby. And the whole time I'm worried about, because the last time I got jerked out of the water, is this gonna happen? And if it happens now, when the baby's out of the basket and the mother's in, that's not gonna happen. I just remember, please, please, I just don't wanna kill the baby. Uh -huh. It was a. It was a rough ten seconds. Clear take load, taking load. The woman and baby are clear right and clear move back and left. Clear move back and left. Clear move back and left. They're coming up. I'm bringing them up slow. I'm bringing them up slow. Hold, hold altitude. Hold altitude. Bring them up slow. Hold the position. Uh, they're still about ten feet below the cabin. Okay, I'm bringing them no up rush. slow. No rush. We got the bane on board. Thank God. I have swarm inside, so don't worry about it, Bob. Dan, Roger, you look I'm back bring, I'm not bringing them in back first. I'm going to bring them in face first, because that's the way I'm going to get good. it around the, around the tank. I asked the co-pilot if he could look back and see if the baby was OK. He looked back the first time, and the baby still had a, his eyes closed. And we weren't quite sure if the, the baby survived the old deal. Looked back the second time, and still had his eyes closed. And then the third time he looked back, the baby had opened his eyes, and the, the baby was smiling. That was uh, a big relief, and it seemed like, okay, now I'm done. But uh, we weren't done. Okay, Roger. Right 15. Oh, that's back, 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 emergency back. And the mass came pretty close to him. It probably came about three feet to him, almost impaled him. Rescue swimmers in the water. I was waving for the, the, um, the daughter to jump off. And I remember thinking she was too far back to to jump off, I and mean, she needs to get on that deck, I thought, she needs to move over. And I didn't get it, and then she had ran, she ran. Good jump, sweetheart. Great jump. Okay, Mario has her and he's coming away. Basket's in the water, paying out slack and cable. Mario and the little girl's approaching the basket. Hold position. Mario and the little girl are at the basket. Hold position. Taking a load. Rescue basket's clear of the water, clear moving back on line 30. Rescue basket's halfway up, back in line 10. Okay, you're gonna be okay. Oh, he got to jump, jump. Okay, he's in the water. Okay, he's in the water. Good, good. He's swimming back. He forgot to zip his life jacket, so he jumps in the water and falls off. Ariel's putting survivor in the basket. Hold position. I'm receiving ready for pickup. So prepare to take the load. Taking the load. Comes the wave. Survivor's clear of the clear of the water. Back in left twenty. Rescue basket's in the cabin. They get in the sling. And he starts to pick me up, and I remember screaming on the way up, "I'm out of here." I don't know why I just came out. I'm out of here. I wanted to get out. Bobby pulled me up in the door. You know, you're done with the water part, but then there's four people in the cabin. I'd like to say something more than thank you, but I, I don't know what I, it would be. I'm very grateful. My, my family is very grateful to them. My stepdaughter is, now has another Super Mario be, besides the one she had with the Nintendo game. Stay tuned for scenes from next week's episode of Code.